The Coulomb was selected to use with electric currents, which makes it a great large unit for static electricity. So that means get your metric prefixes ready. Coulomb's Law. Use unit analysis to prove the units of K. Solve for K. K is going to equal that, multiplying F on each side, or excuse me, multiplying R squared on each side, and then dividing Q1, Q2. So plugging in our units, we get newtons times meters squared, divided by coulomb times a coulomb. Simplified out is a newton times a meter squared per coulomb squared. That's what it is. That's true. All right. There's Coulomb's Law on your data booklet in 5.1 electric fields. Coulomb constant is given to you as 8.99 times 10 to the ninth. Uh, it's the one that is roughly, if you took it to a one sig fig, 9 times 10 to the ninth. So 9e9, if you like, to shorten it, to have something to memorize. But remember, that's only one sig fig, so that's going to that'll work for multiple choice. It's not going to be so great if it comes to free response. Sign is important. A positive force means it is repulsive, which is probably opposite of what you would expect. A negative force means that it is an attractive force. So if Q1 and Q2 is positive, you're going to get positive. If Q1 is positive, Q2 is negative, you're going to get a negative force because they attract, right? All right. What is the repulsion force on the positive charge below? Pause it. Try it. Let's see. There's your hint. And then there's your solution. One newton. which is one quarter of the initial force, right? Because we've doubled the distance, and r is squared. Doubled the separation distance, so r is squared. So it's going to follow that same inverse square law that Newton's universal law of gravity followed. Here's another one. Now we've doubled one charge, so we're going to get a larger force by double because it's in the numerator, so it's proportional. Which pair has the greatest electrostatic force? Whoops, bad PowerPointing, Mr. Scapettis. Sorry, I had the answer on notes. Anyway. Electrostatic force, we have charge of 1 and 1 with a separation distance d. Meanwhile, we have charge 2 and 2 with separation distance of 2d. You can plug those in, and you're going to get the same k, k times q1, q2 over r squared. Here we go. Pause this video. Try this. Determine the electric, electrical force of attraction between two balloons separated with separate charges of 3.5 times 10 to the negative 8th coulombs and negative 2.9 times 10 to the negative 8th coulombs when separated at a distance of 0 0.65. First things first, before I get into this, I see this is a positive and a negative, so I'm expecting a negative force because they're going to be attracted to each other. We have a separation distance of 0 0.65 meters, and that'll be squared, plugging it into the equation. No tricks here, it's just negative 2.16 times 10 to the negative 5 newtons. What is gravity? We're going to deal with that in the next one.